Oliver, say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my Zara update. And if you want to get right into the list, go ahead and go to this timestamp right here because I am going to go over a quick update on Oliver. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who send prayers and positive vibes and well wishes for Oliver. He is actually, he is responding very well to his meds and when the vet told me that he could possibly possibly be epileptic and have to go through this for the rest of his life i was pretty much devastated i still don't know where we are at but i do know that since starting his meds which aren't seizure meds she didn't want to do that just yet because once that starts they can't stop she put on on some kind of like anti-anxiety meds but once we started on that he hasn't had an episode since. I did put, like I didn't know where I was gonna be at, so that was the reason for my post. Things can still change, so if you see me for any reason not being as active, it's just because something has changed, but hopefully that won't be the case, but thank you guys again. So, I did have my summer video scheduled for today. I wanted to do this video really quick because I actually had a couple people ask for Zara updates and I didn't understand why, but I guess their summer sale is coming. For anyone whose sale is starting Monday, if you're thinking of picking up any of these perfumes, you'll have my thoughts on them. I am going to be linking Coco Peb's video down below because she gives an in-depth review on a lot of the fragrances I actually picked up. I saw her video the other day and I was like, wow, this is a really good Zara perfume review. So go ahead and check her video out as well. I filmed my video a little over a month. Again, I filmed my videos like two weeks in advance. So I've been playing with these perfumes more so at night and then like while I'm working from home. The first six I'm going to talk about, I didn't play with as long because I wasn't crazy about them and I'll go over that but for the most part the other ones that I will talk about after that I did test out a little longer I'll go over the notes what they're supposed to be duping you guys helped me out in the comment section below to let me know what the perfumes are duping so let's go ahead and get into this list first up we're gonna go over the improbable series and these are supposed to be a little bit more of like modern and i'll go over what the notes are listed on the zara site i noticed that for granted i had more notes than what zara listed out i'll give you some extra ones if i if i picked it up but for the most part these are just going to be like simple notes these do have more simple notes these scents they just all have this almost makeup-y vibe but not in a bad way something i think the like the younger youthful group will will like the only way I can really describe it but let's go ahead and we'll start with somewhere nowhere and this is 001 now I did have someone tell me in the comment section that this reminded them of Dolce & Gabbana's light blue and it is in that same like vein like citrusy and clean the citrus in here on my skin comes off very Whew, this one chokes me out every time I put it on. But the citrus in here is a little bit too much for me. But then it, it does quickly fade. I would say that all of these, again, I didn't try this line out as much as the other ones because I wasn't crazy about them. These all had like a four hour life. I would say they projected for the first hour or two and then sat closer to my skin. I would say that this one's probably the strongest. The citrus in here is like... Whew very strong this one has lemon magnolia and musk and it's just i don't really get the musk no i don't really get the musk this is very 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 citrus lemon heavy i don't get the magnolia this is like very citrus on my skin it could play totally different on someone else's skin because again I had someone say that this reminded them of Dolce & Gabbana's um, light blue, so. Okay, and then next up we have Sense of Glam. And this is 002. And this has lychee, rose, and vanilla. So this one on the card, it smelled like a plastic Barbie doll, a kind of a little lipsticky. I don't get the rose. I get more vanilla and again, it's just got this plasticness to it. And this is described as a floral fruity. 
but yeah I'm not too crazy about this okay and then um, the next one is me and my selfie and this is 004 and this one has almond magnolia tonka bean and this is described as a sweet floral this one though is sweet and it's got a little bit of a candiness to it but that does die down and this becomes more of a sweet vanilla scent so I think if you like like sweet like candy you might like this one this one I can tolerate a little bit more than the first two. And then this one feels like summer. This one I like better on the skin. And this one is 007. And this one, I don't know if it's peach or, there's a citrus in here, but it's not as sharp as somewhere nowhere. And this one actually, when it dries down, it's a little bit better. This one has sweet orange, apricot, and sandalwood. I think it's cause of the sandalwood I, I like this one so I would say out of the these four feels like summer is probably my favorite again they don't last very long on my skin but for the price you could pop this in a bag these are all glass just so you know but you could pop these in your bag and take them with you but yeah I would say out of all of them feels like summer is probably my favorite okay and then next we have some roller balls these roller balls didn't work on my skin gourmand addict was probably my favorite and i think this one probably lasted because i believe there's patchouli in here but this one's actually very pretty this one does not smell very gourmand it's not anything sweet or cakey or dessert this smell very bright and sparkly in my opinion and this has peach cassis and patchouli and again it's just bright and sparkly and this is one that i would actually pick up a larger bottle of because i i feel like this one did last on my skin and if i oversprayed it it probably lasts because this has patchouli in it so this one was one of the longer lasting of the perfumes for the most part you're looking at about four hours for a lot of these i will mention if they go a little longer because some of them did stay on my skin a little longer the this line didn't and these next two roller balls did not either so the next roller ball is nui this one has notes of apricot lily of the valley and vanilla and on me it was more of a vanilla scent i did not get anything intense or they described it as elegant and hypnotic it wasn't anything hypnotizing and that could just be because it's the roller ball and then next we have wonder rose summer and this is just a really pretty fruity floral it's safe and this has notes of fruit jasmine and vanilla so yeah this is a really nice safe scent if you are younger go to high school or don't want anything that smells too strong this is very pretty but on my skin it, it didn't last very long but again I'm not sure if that's because it's the roller ball okay and then and Wonder Rose is again just a pretty like fruity floral yeah this one is another one that I would say is really nice very safe scent very fruity floral this one has pear breadfruits vanilla it's just an easy scent. This is really nice. I use this to bed. It's a very nice, safe purchase, in my opinion. If you're looking for anything kind of different, I wouldn't say this one's for you, but this is, to me, a safe blind buy. I would wear this to bed, and when I would wake up, I really wouldn't smell it. So you're you're looking at about four hours, but you could just pop this into, in, into your bag. Now this next one, I woke up smelling the next day, and that is Twilight Mauve or Mauve, wherever you're from. And this is supposed to be duping Donna Karen New York's Be Delicious. I find this one to be pretty close. It's a little dry. It's a very dry, crisp apple scent. It's clean. I put this on and I did smell it the next day. I would say it projected the first few hours and then a lot of these scents get, they stick closer to the skin. But I did smell this one when I woke up the next day. I, of course, I did have to smell myself. This one's really nice. I would use this one uh, to the gym because I like clean scents. Again, this is like a clean, crisp apple. Not a juicy apple, it's more of a dry, tart apple. This is more of a tart scent. And that's Twilight Mauve. And then next is Violet Blossom. 
People in my comments said that this is duping alien. And this smells like grape juice to me. I know people pick up grape and alien, but I really don't get aliens very like clean to me, like a very sharp soapy scent. This one, I don't get alien. Like maybe in the way dry down. But this is more of, I don't know if you guys have ever had those like little plastic, they look like a barrel. It's like a grape juice and you would pop the little aluminum. We used to have those up north <laughs> when we would do the lunches. I don't know if you guys ever heard of the lunches. It was like basically the community would bring like bad lunches to lower income families. So up north we would go to the park and we would have lunch basically. It would be like a ham and cheese sandwich and one of those little juices. It was grape juice. Or like Dave Chappelle says, drink. Purple drink. What the f is juice? I want some grape drink, baby. Mm, it's purple. But that's what this smells like to me. This smells like a very sugary grape scent. I don't get alien on my skin. That doesn't mean it doesn't smell like that. Just on me, this is grape. Yeah, and that's Zara's Violet Blossom. And then next we have Orchid. This is just a fresh floral and this has bergamot, orchid, and vanilla. And someone said that this is supposed to be duping um, Victoria's Secret's bombshell. And I totally get that. Yeah, this smells like Victoria's Secret's bombshell. This is another good one. This one you get about four to six hours. I overspray, I spray in my hair, I spray on my clothes. You can get these to work for the price. Totally worth it. These are great. Like again, I wear these to sleep, but Orchid is one that I would wear to run errands just because it's a nice Victoria's Secret type scent. Those are like safe. And then next we have Gardenia. And this is duping YSL's Black Opium. And this is a pretty good dupe. This one didn't last the longest on me. The coffee note is pretty good for this. Some people don't pick up the coffee in black opium, but I, I do, and I do pick up the coffee in here. This is a really good dupe. I have a very small bottle of black opium. I, I actually enjoy black opium. I get a good day's worth of black opium. I know people say that they don't, but I can wear that to work all day long. But I would still bring this just to kind of, I like my perfumes to kind of project. So this is a really good refresher because they're pretty spot on, they're pretty close. So again, these don't project too loudly after like two hours. So they're not going to be like crazy powerhouse perfumes with these like immense like sillage. But living in Florida, if I go outside and the, the heat hits me, you're probably going to get it. But it's something that maybe in an office or in a school room, if it, you got the AC on, it's just going to sit closer to you. Because a lot of times I'll wear perfume and no one smells it. And then like today, I went out with my mom walking and as soon as I stepped outside, she's like, oh, what are you wearing? Heat, humidity lotion all that plays into how perfumes last so a lot of these perfumes project pretty good for the first few hours then they sit a little closer to you and then they all vary between four to six hours i don't get anything longer than that on my skin except for twilight mauve i got that the next day on my skin and then the, the, the last few I'm going to mention. And then Gardenia has orange blossom, coffee, and vanilla. Okay, and then tuberose. I was told that this is duping Giorgio Armani Code. Now, I haven't smelled Armani Code in a long time, so I couldn't tell you. Like, I know when I smell something, then I'm, I'm hit with, oh my God, like the past. But I couldn't tell you, oh yeah, that's what it smells like. This has cassis, tuberose, and vanilla. And this is just a light, fresh, white floral. The Zara perfumes are really great. Perfume has no age, just so you know. These are fun perfumes. But because they're fun perfumes, they are, to me, targeted more towards a younger demographic. This isn't like your normal tuberose scent. This isn't going to be like Ralph Lauren's woman. This is a very light, youthful tuberose. And this one, I would say, doesn't last very long. 
this one this one's nice so another reason why I like Zara perfumes is because if I'm gonna run errands I can put this on and then let's say I'm gonna go out for the night with my husband I can just pop on another perfume I could layer another tuberose scent so this is a very easy scent it is something that fades after a while the tuberose okay then we're down to my last two these two are actually my favorite so we have femme this is duping hypnotic poison now this is what i wanted hypnotic poison to be i really really enjoy femme and this is one that i would get a larger bottle of but this is duping hypnotic poison but without that play-doh i do have hypnotic poison the edp because i feel like since that one's a little deeper and richer i don't pick up that note as much but the edt i do pick it up a lot and not that that's bad i know a lot of people who like that perfume i just didn't care for it i prefer the eau de parfum over the eau de toilette but this is a very toned down version of hypnotic poison so it's like the edt and then minus that note and again that note might not smell like that on some people but for me and like my sister we we did pick up that kind of play-doh set and then like my mom didn't so every everyone's different when i got the edt i liked it but i couldn't get past that note so i do really enjoy femme and this one has notes of peony vanilla and musk and then i did look it up on fragrantica because i'm like no this this has a very like gourmand kind of side to it. it has tonka bean and patchouli and this also has sandalwood so i really do enjoy this scent i like this one for bed so i wear this one for bed and when i get up it's very very faint on my skin so i'm going to say six hours you get a good six hours with this one and then next we have zara red vanilla and this is supposed to be duping malayan combs la vie ben and this one i get a good six to eight hours on this one and this one is a more wearable version of La Via Belle and not as patchouli heavy. And I really, really enjoy this one. This one has cassis, iris, and vanilla. And I went ahead and I looked it up on Fragrantica and saw that there's tonka bean and patchouli. And again, this is just a more wearable version of La Via Belle. So I think these are really great perfumes for all ages but especially for like my stepdaughter or if you're in high school or in college these are not like offensive scents they again they vary with the longevity you get about four to six hours depending on how you spray it but these perfumes and these bottles they're really nice they're not anything overly offensive they're nice dupes that are not too in your face like some of the ones that they're duping because this one that is said to dupe alien alien could be a, a bit much so can la via bell i don't think black opium maybe if you oversprayed black opium but yeah these perfumes are all perfumes that the perfumes that they're duping they're pretty good dupes but without being clones and without being too overbearing so they're really good scents for like the office running errands going to school but i hope you guys like this video i really wanted to get this video out in time for the sale so that that way if you guys want to pick any of these up maybe you can get a little bit of an extra discount i've never like purchased during a zara sale i didn't even really know that zara had perfumes i only knew that they had clothes and i've never shopped them this was my first zara purchase but let me know in the comments below are you guys picking up anything i'm very tempted to pick up powdery magnolia Coco Pebs mentioned it as well as Allison mentioned it in the comment section. I've also been interested in apple juice. I don't know if I want a full bottle of that. You guys will have to let me know. Does it smell like Twilight Mauve? Mauve? Because I'm, I'm not crazy. I wouldn't want a big bottle of this. This dry apple scent. I have scents like this in my collection that I prefer like my Dylan Blue and my um, Angel EDT. This one's a little too dry for me. But let me know about apple juice also i was thinking of picking up gourmand attic i really like the rollerball so i think i'm really going to enjoy that one but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate it if you subscribed click that notification bell so you know when i upload and until next time guys 